gonna do a super quick unboxing video on this canister filter. Cause I need to get it up here on this 40 gallon with those two fives. Cause those variatus need some love. This Penplex Cascade has done its job, but it's just not pushing enough water for all these little fish. And because I am a Fluval guy, not sponsored, but I love their products. FX6 running the 90 gallon and the three fives. FX6 again to be running the 150. And another FX6, I know, a little crazy, on a 55. So yeah, you can tell, super fan. Hopefully Fluval eventually sees me, small channel, but hey, you know, big wishes, big dreams, right? This 307 is gonna do a decent job. I'm only running 50 gallons up top there. And this guy rated 40 to 70. I know, factor in the pump height, all that. Oh, there's almost zero pump height, maybe a foot up to those top tanks. So this should just be enough. Now I know you could go 407, 207, or any of the flu vols in between. But this one was perfectly priced. Let's jump into it. So this is everything that comes in the box. You have your canister filter itself. Directions on how to do everything, maintenance, love, and care. The classic Fluval hoses, definitely a lot smaller than the FX6. And all of your parts. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna need most of those parts. I already do have my lines and I will just reuse the ones that are there. Tanks are plumbed and I'm gonna leave all that plumbing in place. Modify the hoses where necessary and just swap the guts out from the Penplex into the Fluval. Be right back. So quick thing on these, very similar to the FX6s, except for, well, gotta do your own priming, not a big deal. So remove the top, motor housing, everything's still nice and clean. Obviously brand new. Take a peek inside here. Nice filter pads, coarse and fine. Trays come out nice and neat. Even got a little handle, just like the FX6s. I don't run charcoal, so this will probably be just a media basket for me. I'll save these bio rings, but like I said, I'll be using my own. A couple layers of filter pad, coarse and fine again. I'll leave those in place. But otherwise, the rest of these trays, all gonna be cycled media. So swapping out all the media from this nasty cascade. Thank God it's time to retire this. Putting everything in here. So they hold almost an identical amount of media. Obviously we know or hope the Fluval has got way more water capacity. This is everything Fluval sent in the box. Those two small bags of media claiming that's enough. That fills one tray. I still have all that filled in with cycled media and the sponges down below. So definitely not enough. I know they were thinking about using the charcoal, but more media, the better. And while this is hanging out, we're going to fill this up with water real quick. Got the siphon going, so I only got a matter of seconds before this little canister fills up, but we want to keep that cycled meteor alive. So 
now. I used the old hose, none of the FX6 products. Now let's just pump it and prime it. See if we can get her started. This is why I love the FX6. Plug it in, turn it on, does everything for you. Fluval canister is in place. I didn't use any of the original hoses. Kept all my old hardware with the ball valves. Way too much algae on those. But look at the flow coming out of these pipes from their churn. Well guys, thanks for watching. Check me out anytime. Subscribe, Glassbox Aquarius. Thank you.